You are listening to Lone Star Community Radio on 104.5 KCZWLP Conroe and 106.1 KZCCLP Conroe and worldwide on IRLoneStar.com. Thanks for checking out the podcast and YouTube channel on Conroe Culture. Don't forget, we're live on Lone Star Community Radio every Monday at noon. Make sure to subscribe to the show on iTunes, Google Play, YouTube. Want more information? Visit the show page on IRLoneStar.com slash Conroe Culture for past shows and learn how to sponsor the show. Solar Eclipse Day. We are here on Conroe Culture Radio News. I'm your host, Margie Taylor, from downtown Conroe, Lone Star Community Radio, like we are every Monday at noon. Today's August 21st, 2017. So uh, it's all about the music today and a little bit more. So my guests today are going to be from Conroe High School Band and Band Boosters. I am. I have uh, Bobby Heathcock. Uh, he's the band director. Brent Vesey, who's the president of the Band Boosters. We will hear from Ian Ramirez, who's actually an opera singer. Got to throw that in there. He's also the general manager from Madeira Estates in Conroe. And then uh, finally, we will hear from Bo Sullivan, who's with True South Promotions. It does festivals, music events, and things like that. So uh, what's going on? Well, of course, we know about the total eclipse and we may not have a really good glimpse of that but then again we're not supposed to look at it anyhow so i'm very doubtful that at one o'clock that it's going to get completely dark here but in other parts of the country perhaps on the oregon coast you might uh, be able to see that darkness but it's not going to probably happen here yes it's okay for your dogs to be outside yes it's okay for you to work outside don't look at the sun just don't look at the sun okay all right so what happened in downtown Conroe this weekend oh my gosh there was so much traffic and parking was pretty much unavailable but it's kind of cool to see all the cars out here there was the taco tequila margarita festival that took place and uh, they had a huge crowd and guess who won for best taco you're not going to even figure this one out it was not a Mexican restaurant it was the Red Brick Tavern in downtown Conroe. Who knew? But yes, they did. So uh, they won for Best Taco. And uh, I went out and visited with uh, Michael Player. He was playing at the pub, the Corner Pub, on Saturday night. Uh, and he had a great crowd, too, because as the festival was winding up, people started wanting to keep the party going on so they went to the corner pub they went to the red brick and listened to music and soon we're going to have a third choice because the pacific yard house will be opening here next month they have a roof on their facility and they have a capacity of over 200 people so they will be on the corner of metcalf and pacific so look forward to that uh, also what's going on uh, michael player had uh, another charity event going on while he was singing the texian heritage festival will happen october 7th in fernland historical park in montgomery and this has been going on for about seven years it started with the montgomery county food bank but they go through and they do texas history and they have a battle of sorts between the texas army and the mexican army but they were also selling uh, texas uh, memorabilia to raise money because this festival gives back to local charities so again that is october 7th and it's called the texian heritage festival well talking about local in downtown conroe joey ashton was the caterer red onion on the square that just opened up on the east side of the courthouse he was the caterer for the back the brave fundraiser that took place saturday at the blackwood gun club now this was to benefit and support all first responders in our community there was the montgomery county hospital district there were firefighters there and there was law enforcement the uh, sheriff's department had their citizens academy and uh, of course the sheriff's department was there with some other local people and all the shoots went towards uh, the back the brave foundation that helps with families in line of duty deaths so it was a great cause and uh, we had hamburgers thank you very much red onion on the square 
Also, what was going on? We had Fiddler on the Roof happen this weekend. Another crowd. It was great. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So Fiddler on the Roof was through the uh, Christian Youth Theater put that on. And it was Friday and two performances, two and eight o'clock on Saturday. And I attended the Sunday performance at two. And it was still a madhouse down here. There was It was a crowd down here. There's stuff going on. Unbelievable. All weekend long. So catch the madness today. Monday Madness. Uh, you can go to the Corner Pub and hear the open mic starting at 9 o'clock with Caleb of the Homegrown Tomatoes. And they're getting ready to cut their first CD, so that's exciting. And then, of course, there's more Madness, Monday Madness, going on at the Red Brick Tavern with Fred McIntosh and Charles Peters starting at 7.30. So this Thursday, you, you can listen to Buck Yeager at the Red Brick. And he will be there with Arthur Yorkia starting at 8 p.m. Friday night, right next door. And I can see the photos being already hung up for the uh, exhibition. But Conroe Coffee offers a free event to experience a local artist. And you can come in there at 6 o'clock, drink coffee, munch on snacks, and uh, see what's going on with their local um, Conroe Coffee art experience. Kira Timmons will be the featured illustrator designer, and she comes from Houston, not that far away. And again, that starts at Friday at 6 p.m. and goes till 9, and there's no admission, so come enjoy that. Coming up Saturday is the Sounds of Texas Music Series. I was hoping to have somebody come on the show today and talk about that. But nonetheless, it will feature B.J. Thomas, and that starts at 8 p.m. at the Crichton Theater. I don't know if seats are still available. It kind of looked like there were not. But the better news, you can come to a free block party. The streets will be closed off from 6 to 7.30 Saturday with Josh Fuller, cold beer, and food trucks. And so come join the party anyway. You may or may not be able to get in and see B.J. Thomas, but come have fun. Country artist Clayton Gardner from College Station will take the stage at the Red Brick Tavern 9 p.m. Friday evening, or you can walk across the street to hear live music at the Corner Pub. Saturday night, the Corner Pub has Texas Johnny Boy on the saxophone with Old School Rhythm and Blues, or listen to Emily Cole from Montgomery's perform with Melissa Sterling and Keith Carl at the Red Brick. So CASA also has an event this weekend, and CASA has been on the radio show here before. And what they are is uh, court-appointed advocates for kids that have been abused, neglected, that are under CPS in Montgomery County. So they're having a benefit this Saturday, and uh, it's 10 to 6 in Bentwater. Uh, if you want to go to their website or their Facebook page, you can find out about how to register for that. And it's a $10 self-guided tour of the Frank Lloyd Wright building. You just tell the guard that you have a ticket, and it is unrefundable, but it all goes to Benefit CASA, which is a great organization to make a donation to. Conroe Parks, what's going on with them? Well, they have Kidfish coming up. Kidfish coming up September 9th. It's nine to do, nine to noon, and it's free for kids, sixteen and younger. You can bring your own pole, you can bring your own bait, but if not, go there. They will have some poles and baits provided for you to use. Free, 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 free at Carl Barton Park. The pool is open still until September 11th. That doesn't sound right. September 11th, I think, is a Monday. So I'm going to say what they really mean is probably that weekend before, which is the 9th and 10th. So the pool will still be open. And the next free concert hosted by the Conroe Parks and Recreation will be Thursday, September 7th at Heritage Park. Of course, that's also the Farmer's Market destination. And uh, then in October, we're moving the Farmer's Market back to Founders Plaza by the Owen Theater with a scavenger hunt. Again, free. I like to tell y'all all the free stuff because why not? Okay, we're going to take a quick break and then we're going to go on with my first guest from Conroe High School Band. I'm Margie Taylor, Conroe Culture News. Don't forget to download the Lone Star Community Radio app from your Google Play or Apple Store. Bring Montgomery County's community radio with you anywhere with your smartphone or tablet. If you are in the Conroe area, tune in on FM. 
That's Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1. If you are on the computer, bookmark IRLoneStar.com as your internet radio station. A Lone Star Community Radio. Broadcasting 24-7 from the heart of downtown Conroe, Texas. And we are back. I'm Margie Taylor, Conroe Culture News, Taylorized PR, your host for this hour of great entertainment and newsworthy content. So... My first guest today is uh, Bobby Heathcock. He's the band director of Conroe High School and Brent Feasy, who's the president of the band Boosters. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, Margie. Thank okay. you for having us. Absolutely. So the mics are working. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> so it seems like it's getting darker in here. Maybe it's my imagination. I, I don't know. But uh, so... Um, Mr. Heathcock, how long have you been working with the Conroe High School Band? Since 2002. 2002. Okay, yes. so what's changed since you started? Well, uh, I adopted a band of about 42 kids, and <clears throat> this year we have about 380. 380. That's a huge increase. Oh, yeah. yeah and the, the 42 <laughs> included the drum majors and the drum line, the color guard, everybody. Wow. Yeah. So do you have enough room to practice with all these people? <laughs> We're making it work. You're making it work because I know yeah. there's like construction yeah, and things going on. Well, we practice uh, close to the stadium. So once we're outside, we're okay. You're okay. But we can't put the whole band in the band hall. It's just too big. I'm sure. And that's exciting. That know? is exciting. That's a, that's, a, that's a good thing. So football, have you had your, when is your first game? It's September 1st in Cy Fair. September we're, 1st. Yeah, we're so, playing Cy Springs. But you don't just show up. You've been practicing for a long <laughs> yeah, time, right? We've, I mean, been, <laughs> we've been practicing since July 24th. July 24th. Yeah. One a day or two a days? All day. <laughs> All day. All day. Okay. Yeah. Eight, eight to five yep. every day. That's Brent. Okay. <laughs> eight to five. Wow. Do you go out there and have fun too, Brent? Uh, the boosters are out there supporting as we can. We arrange for Kona Ice to come out and give the kids an opportunity to get some snow cones and things. And we did some other things, an ice cream social for the kids. So uh, it's not all work, but the marching band is, is very hard work, and it's a lot of fun hard work. Absolutely. Even for the old guy, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of hard work. What motivates you? What gets you so excited? I, I don't know. I've, I've just, I don't know. It's hard to explain. It has a lot to do with the high school itself. I mean, Connor High is a, is a special place. And uh, I figured that out from the day one and back in 2002. And I don't know. We just get a lot of support. Everybody loves us and just makes me keep coming back. How was the uh, Meet the Tigers a couple of weeks ago? It was fantastic. It, it was. was. It was. It was great. Exceeded your expectations? Oh, yeah, yeah. We played every song we knew, which was about 24 songs. Wow. We just, we just, it just felt like a, like a hometown game atmosphere. We were very excited Isn't that about nice? It. Yeah, it was great. Team looked good on the field, it, and the cheerleaders were great. I mean, Golden Girls were great. It, it just felt normal to us. It was Everybody great. was cohesive and worked. Oh, together. yeah, it all came together. Isn't we didn't nice? think it would, but it did. <laughs> Talked the crowd some cheers, and who knew? <laughs> well, you know, on the underside, on the back, on the dark side, yeah. as long as everybody has fun, it doesn't matter how you got there. That is correct, <laughs> you know? yes. It's all about the entertainment. That's right. And if they leave with smiles and good memories, and you make memories. Right. You know, um, so since 2002, you work with a lot of kids, a I lot have. of students. Yes. Absolutely. Have any of them gone on to work in music? Many, many have. Uh, we currently have three or four that are studying to be band directors. So That's I guess nice. I... You mentored them. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, That's it's it's, nice. it's really nice when they come up to you after graduation and say, I'm going to be a band director. And you're like, are you sure? <laughs> They're, they're all about it. So, Where do they go to school afterwards for this? Uh, a couple have been to Baylor. Uh, a couple have gone to U of H. Uh, a few at Sam Houston. Um, some at Berlin. Very nice. Yep. 
So there's some history about this year, right, Brent? There, what is significant about this year? Well, when Mr. Heathcock mentioned the size of the band at 380, that's the largest band this band has ever had in its 88-year history. And it's even larger than the Rose Parade bands back in 1986 and 2010. So this is a historic band just from the size perspective, and it's only going to get larger next year. Yeah, I'm afraid so. So what seems to be the surge? Well, What do you attribute that to? I We... We seem to have a lot of Pied Pipers as band directors in the intermediate schools and the juniors. I have a really great band director staff all the way down through fifth grade. Currently, uh, there are about 1,500 kids in the vertical program. Um, so we're very excited about that. And right now, 6th, 7th, 8th, and ninth, there are 820 kids. That's a lot of kids. Yes. That's exciting. It is. I mean, on the books, we're supposed to be, if you know, if all the planets aligned, you know, no, and no nothing about the solar eclipse, eclipse right? Uh, <laughs> we would have 610 in band next year if, if everything went according to plan. Oh, my gosh. I know. So are you equipped to handle that? We will be. We're ready okay. for them. So tell me what the boosters do exactly. How do you support the band? I mean, besides the snow cones and the ice cream socials. We support the band with whatever they need to be successful. We've bought contrabasses for the band to use those are the big tuba like horns that they will be carrying on their shoulders this this year we've paid for additional instructors that go into the band for percussion for the color guard uh, we have another director joining us this year mr burkhalter mm -hmm. right mr heathcock yes uh, and he's from the actual he's the music director at the houston texans and he's asked to come up here and work with Conroe High School and the schools that are feeding into Conroe High School to teach all of the students all the way down into fifth grade more about percussion and those things, uh, those instruments. And that's something else that the boosters are supporting is those opportunities as well as transportation, food. We fed the band before the Meet the Tigers. And as the band gets larger, that tab gets larger as well. So all of these things are things that we are supporting financially as mm -hmm. well as with our volunteers' efforts to be there to help the band get from point A to point B with chaperones and people on the field moving equipment and everything else. So you're like the accessory, so he doesn't have to worry about those things as much. Correct. And I'm sure you all communicate quite a bit together yes. to make that happen. Well, the, the stronger the booster organization, the more the teachers get to teach. Correct. And that's our goal is to allow them to teach and have as much time teaching to the kids as possible so they don't have to worry about all this other stuff. Well, that's good. So then you do fundraisers. Absolutely. To raise the funds so that it's not just out of pocket, but you get the community involved and you have an upcoming fundraiser September 9th. Yes, it's a 50s themed dinner at Conroe High School. And it's a two-pronged approach. We want to try to make it as accessible to people as possible. We have people that can come in and enjoy the meal there in the cafeteria in the school and be served by the band students and the boosters as well that will be dressed in 50s garb. And then we also have the capability for people to drive in, which means they can come in, place an order with someone. They will go in, get their food, bring it back to them, and they'll be able to get their food as well that way. So we try to make it as accessible as possible for everyone to be able to get exactly what they need when they need it. Sounds fun. It should be a lot of fun. So you're serving grilled chicken breast, ham, and cheesy macaroni. Yes. You have the word cheesy, cheesy in there. macaroni. <laughs> Mild or spicy. I kind of like things spiced up. And baked beans. Sounds like something I would just mix all together and eat it that way. Uh, yes, a good casserole. <laughs> so, yeah, sounds great. So are you still looking for volunteers to help you with this? Or you Absolutely. got it taken care of? No, I, you need volunteers. We need volunteers okay. of all ilks, you know. And if people want to come to volunteer to help us that day, that's great. If there's people that want to assist us with supporting the band financially through sponsorships or whatever that's also great as well and i think you've got all the contact information for us you know that you could make relevant for them so know, facebook so. it's chs band boosters 
pretty easy to find. You can pretty much Google that, too. Yep. Don't we love Google? Google's yeah. great. You know, and, and, of course, you have the website, Conroe Tiger Band. And so that is uh, very accessible as to how to get involved. Now, do you get a lot of alumni, people that were in the band, to help you out? I would think that would be a great way yes, to do it. Yes, we, we do. And you have a lot of alumni that come back as two-time, three-time offenders so i'm one of those <laughs> so i was were I, you a band guy I, I graduated in 89 and i marched in the 1986 parade for the conroe tiger band and my daughter graduated in 2010 mm -hmm. and she marched in the 2010 parade so great uh, memories huh it is great memories and it's just a great experience overall there's so much that band has given me and her uh, that is just incalculable, and a lot of that is attributable to people, great people like Mr. Heathcock and Mrs. Martinez and the work and the dedication they have uh, to these kids. They were doing work just the other day up at the band hall and, and cleaning and stuff, uh, and he personally bought all the students that were there pizza for them to eat out of his own pocket. So these are the dedication and the types of things that these great people and great directors do on a regular basis. It, it's very nice. So what else do you have coming up besides the football games? Do, are you, do you have other events that you do? And you're smiling. Well, <laughs> we, uh, we stepped into a major event. Uh, back in June, we uh, entered a recording competition. Oh. Hundreds of bands from around the nation. It's sponsored by Music for All and Bands of America. Well, we just happened to, to step into being one of the top 25 bands in America. That's awesome. Yeah, we, we're very, very Are excited. you bragging about this anywhere? I am bragging well, about Well, I mean, it. you're telling yeah. me and whoever's listening. Absolutely. But, I mean, is this on your website or any place? It's, it's going to be. We just, okay. Uh, we just don't. Uh, they're sending out all the information to the 25 bands uh, this week. So once top we get all the details. 25% in the country. Mm -hmm. Not top 25%, top 25 bands. And because of this. Top 25 bands. Yes. High school bands. Yes. And because of this, uh, we have to do a mandatory concert in March during the back half of our spring break. And we're, we're billed. But that's at, still exciting. Oh, yeah. The kids, absolutely. Are the kids excited? I think so. I think they're a little scared. I mean, they're they a little just scared. started school. Of course, right. you've, been, but you've been together since July, June. What did you tell me? July. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So they're a little they knew scared. this was coming. Yeah. Because, you know, gonna everybody's going to be... They're going to get tuned up really well. Oh, yeah, this. they are. <laughs> <laughs> they have no idea. <laughs> How exciting. Yeah, this it is exciting, exciting for you. Yeah, it, it really is. It's it's the top it's the top venue, you know, in the whole whole country. And so we're, we're very pleased. And this is That's another fun. reason why this band is historical, because this is something that the Tiger Band has never had an opportunity to do and been recognized in this way. So another historical fact for this year. And how are you supporting that of what they're doing? We are going to be trying to find opportunities for the local community to support it financially. Uh, this is something that we have to pay for ourselves out of pocket, and we want to try to minimize that for these kids as much as possible. A lot of the kids at Conroe High School come from socioeconomically lower disadvantaged, disadvantaged areas parts right. of our town and community so it's a it's a struggle for them to you know pay for the fees alone on top of these other opportunities that come up and since this is a once in a lifetime opportunity we want to try to you do need to get it in can. the courier in any other place absolutely <laughs> and we will and that's going to be sure a big focus of ours Great. Um, but you know, getting the business community and others engaged to help support them would be fantastic and it's to indianapolis that's, well, that's, that's where fun. the big, that's where it is. You know, it'd be really fun to do something with the chamber, too, in a big way and have a march in for an event and get people. Oh, we would do that. Absolutely. All that. 380 of them. Let's talk about that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let, you know, you need to sure. do something where people go, wow. Yeah. You know, and make it happen. I mean, shoot, we should have had some of them in here. Of course, I don't really think they'd all fit in here. But. <laughs> They would try. They would yeah. try. I see spots I, I, for them. I, yeah, I don't know how Dick <laughs> would appreciate that. But, hey, <laughs> I don't know. could be an exciting day. So what are we missing? What else do you want to tell us about what's going on with the band, the band boosters, anything, guys? I mean, we just had a great community event this past weekend, actually, where we had a car wash at various places across the That was the Saturday, city. wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was Saturday. Mm -hmm. And it turned out, uh, you know, 
just from the donations, we ended up with over $3,000 of support from the community. So we wanted to thank everybody for that support. Wonderful. And uh, that's gonna, that money goes directly to the kids and uh, is going to be very helpful for them in, in, in getting the things that we need done for this year. And the big thing is that we did it as a pledge system. So we had close to $12,000 in pledges. So the kids are out this week going back to these people that pledged. Oh, to pick up the money. Pick up the money. Very nice. So we may end up to topping $15,000 for that. Event. Wow, that's a great car wash. It that was. is a very good car wash. It was wash. very, it that's was very excellent. cool. Excellent. Yeah. We have lots of great stories about the people that we met and things like that. Well, there's just so much pride in what you do. And I can see from hearing you guys, I mean, visual, not just hearing you, but watching your expressions, that this is something that you are just so excited about and passionate about. Oh, yeah, we, we love our And business. I'm sure that yeah. drizzles down to the students as well. It keeps them motivated. Band was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life because you're doing so many different things when you're marching on a field. It's amazing when you're actually doing it. And so I got so much out of band, and these kids are getting so much out of band. So it's not something that uh, I, I want to be there to support them all I can for that, for that reason. Well, and you know, they have Conroe High School t-shirts next door, too. They <laughs> yes. have a whole lot. They just got in some more. Just throw that out. Did, uh, yes. Did you know that? I did not you know that. You should walk next door think, and see all I think all we're going to walk next you door do before that. I have to go, go back to Debbie class. tell Debbie that yeah. I said that. Anyway, anything else you want to do? Because we're going to have to take a break here. So they, I know that they can go to Facebook and go to CHS uh, Band Boosters and ConroeTigerBand.com. And my name and phone number is up there on the on the website as well for people Brent to contact. Brent Yes. Yes. And Mr. Heathcock. I appreciate y'all taking the time from school today, playing hooky, but everybody's probably looking for the eclipse so they don't notice you, right? Yeah, they, they don't <laughs> have any idea that I'm gone. <laughs> it's just mayhem out there right now. <laughs> so. Well, yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you, Margie, Thank you guys. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll be right back. I'm Margie Taylor, Conroe Culture News, and we'll be back with my next guest, Ian Ramirez. Don't miss Lone Star Community Radio on TV and YouTube. Our talk show and music shows are featured on Our City TV, Suddenlink Channel 12, and have their own YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with posted shows and comment on them below the video. Don't forget, Conroe Culture is live online at IRLoneStar.com and Conroe's FM 104.5 and 106.1 every Monday at 12 p.m. Be a guest, be a sponsor. Just contact us online at IRLoneStar.com slash Conroe Culture. And we're back. I am Margie Taylor, your host for Conroe Culture News of Taylorized PR. We're at Lone Star Community Radio, downtown Conroe, waiting on the darkness to prevail. Is, is it going to happen? I don't know. So I'm sitting here with Ian Ramirez. That's Welcome. Right. Thank Welcome. you. Thank you for having me. Have, have you done this before, Ian? I have done this before, actually, well, in then the studio. Maybe you should just take over. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I don't know. I'll, I'll let you lead the conversation. I was here for Grit and Grace a few months ago. Oh, well, yep. fun. Yeah. Very good. So, okay. So you know how this goes. Mm -hmm. It's just... It's just whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you are the general manager of Madeira Estates. That's correct. What is Madeira Estates? Well, Madeira Estates is actually just down the street at 3201 North Fraser Street. And uh, it's an all-inclusive wedding venue. So we take the stress off of the bride. We have wet in-house wedding coordinators. We do catering, cake, DJ services, one-stop shop for your big day. So... Um, does, does the bride have to find the caterer or do you do your own? We have in-house caterers that we do work own. with. Yes, that's okay. correct. Okay, yeah. wow. It is turnkey. It is turnkey. So that's turn right. Turnkey or put the ring on it, right? That's right. Exactly. They show up, they pick out their dress before they get there, and then they get married to Madeira. We take the stress off of their planning process. So are you pretty booked in advance or how hard is it? We are. In? It is. This October, we'll have 13 weddings. So we have a wedding every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So sometimes more than one? Uh, on in day? one day, we only do one ad event a day. So they have their own personal little oasis. It's sort of their their own private resort, if you will. We bring the destination wedding to you. 
Okay. Yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. So what else do you do there? I mean, besides weddings, mm -hmm. what else do you do? Um, well, I am actually a trained opera singer. So I was uh, really interested in the last conversation you were having with uh, Mr. VZ and Mr. Heathcock. Because I actually grew up in the Woodlands area in the Conroy SD music system. I was in band and choir. And so I know I'm a product of that system. So, so you I've, played in the band. I played in the band, but my focus was mostly singing. And um, I actually lived in Germany for a year and a half singing with an opera company. So I went to music school in Cincinnati, Ohio for six years. Can you can you sing me a little something? Uh, sure. Let's see. Um <laughs> War es also gemeint, mein Rauschend, ja Freund, dein Singen, dein Klingen. War es also gemeint, war es also gemeint. That was nice. That was German, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Wow. So, so are you involved in any opera here locally? Uh, the last production I did was in St. Louis. I did a production of Carmen, and I'm actually preparing to do a recital here in the area. Um, I'm actually going to Lone Star Community College today to pick out a date for their recital hall. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. So I'm a, I would wear multiple hats, and I think it's a great segue into um, weddings because do you it's sing a national at weddings? Um, I'm singing at my cousin's wedding, but I don't sing at the weddings of Madero. Um, <laughs> I'm not a wedding singer. <laughs> but that could, okay. Uh, but that could be an extra feature, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'll sell you my need, services. I'll come see you on here. Out. Yeah. You need to throw that out. Absolutely. Okay. So, I mean, now they can hear you. Mm -hmm. If they say, hey, you know, I was on Conroe Culture News and you can hear a little glimpse of what I do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just break out in song. That's right. But you do other events besides weddings there too, That's correct. Right? Yes. Um, so we do work mostly with weddings, but we do corporate events as well. So Christmas parties. We have a few Christmas parties in December. Um, we have a few of the um, judicial folks in Conroe. Um, DA Brett Ligon is having one of his events fundraiser. there, fundraiser next month. And uh, yeah, we're getting involved with the community with these sorts of events and hopefully doing some more nonprofit work as well. Well, very good. Yeah, yeah. you've got to get your name out there. But you are celebrating five years. That's correct. This five September, years. we're okay. celebrating five years of being in business. Well, that's nice. So it is. How has it grown um, since day one? Oh, my gosh. So from our first year till now, we... The first year we opened, we probably did about 35 weddings, and now we do around 100 a year. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's grown. And yeah. what are you doing to get it out there that you are an available site? Right. So now that I'm back Besides in town. Besides coming on my radio Right, show. exactly, exactly. Um, so being involved more with the Chamber of Conroe, where we met um, a few weeks Conroe ago. And the Conroe Chamber is a great place. Exactly. <laughs> and um, the Woodlands Chamber as well. Yes. And just trying to get involved more in terms of the groups around town now that I've recently moved back to the area. Because I haven't lived in Texas in over 10 years. A lot's changed in 10 years. A lot, especially this area. There's more traffic. There's lots of traffic. <laughs> So, but all good. All good for it's everybody. It's all good. Yeah. So the uh, venue there is mm -hmm. very nice. It's more of a uh, Spanish style. Yes, that's right. Um, so actually my family owned a house in Central Mexico in San Miguel de Allende for 18 years. And my mom is also very creative. She designed furniture for several years. And so a lot of the furniture and the aspects, um, the uni unique features at Madera actually have been designed by a lot of our friends that live in Mexico, in Central Mexico. So very... Very Moroccan. Even there's some Moroccan inspiration. Like Spain, Moroccan. Mexico. Um, you you walk through the double doors at Madeira and you're instantly transported to another place. You don't believe you're in you Conroe anymore. You're correct. You don't know you're there in the city. Right. And it's very easy to find. Absolutely. At, at 30, 83. Mm -hmm, and, and 75. Fraser Road. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a good location. Easy access. Not far from um, 45. Right. Very so. easy access. So... Um, what tips would you give people if they're planning their wedding? If you're planning your wedding, my like tips... Like right now, you just got engaged. You just got engaged. Find your venue. That's number one. Because you want your date, especially if you're looking at an October, November date. October, Texas weather is at a premium, right? And so you got to go out there and find your date right away and find your venue first. Then, you know, focus on the important things like the photographer because those book up fast as well. Um, but the tips and trends that I like to talk about are more along the lines of guest entertainment for your wedding day. 
Um, so making sure you have a good DJ because nothing's worse than having bad music or an opera singer or an op uh, have an opera singer, have live music, <laughs> hire a string right? qu quartet okay. or have the Conra band come play for you. Why not bring the marching band in? I'm sure they would love that. Um, and yeah, guest entertainment is really, really big right now huh. for weddings. So even something like a photo booth, that's something super easy, but the guests really, really enjoy it. Mariachi bands are huge at Madeira. We have uh, several mariachi bands that we recommend to our clients um, and live bands. Even we love when live bands come out to Madera States. Do you have the sound touch. system there? We do. We have a property wide sound system at Madera. So they plug into it. You can hear it all over the place outside by the ceremony site, inside by the reception hall, even out by the veranda and the bar. You hear all the same Very music. Nice. Yeah. And that's the thing is you ha don't just have the event room mm -hmm. you have extensions oh absolutely our bridal suite alone is four rooms for the bride and the bridesmaids to get ready in and, and then you um, have a bar oh outside. there's a bar outside there's um, the groom's quarters there's a nice veranda area for everyone to hang out at and the ambiance outside really is nice between the lush greenery the fire pits that we have outside we have string lights so even after the sun has set um or the, the eclipse or the eclipse after the eclipse has passed <laughs> we'll go outside and uh hang out use our glasses out by um the ceremony site and you have a fountain don't you have a fountain we do there? we have a few fountains so okay. we have three water features at madeira including a waterfall very nice yeah so they can go to my madeira estates that's correct dot com and you're also on facebook mm -hmm. under madeira estates and that's m-a-d-e-r-a -E madeira mm -hmm. and what does madeira mean madeira in spanish means wood Madera is literally right. wood. I mean, I knew and, that. I was um, just asking the question. Yeah, of course, to make sure I knew. <laughs> yeah, um, it was a test. So <laughs> I, I passed the test with flying colors, hopefully. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it's a, it's a beautiful venue. I would love to invite everybody, all of our listeners out there, to come check us out. So they can come take a tour. You show them around, mm -hmm. all of that. Give them some. Do champagne they need to if make an want. appointment to come? Um, they can stop on by. We always love walk-ins, but we do take appointments as well. So they can um, book a tour actually online on our website at the book a tour tab, or they can give us a call and I can schedule one for you over the phone. So you said that you are working with nonprofits and fundraisers mm -hmm. because this is the hot campaign season. I'm mm -hmm. just saying it's starting it to light up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you want people to know that you're available. That we're available. Absolutely. A hundred percent. As long as you're not already doing a wedding. Correct. But so during the week is good times. Of course. Absolutely. Okay. Great times for events. If it's the campaign season, if it's a corporate event, um, any other nonprofit fundraisers that are coming by, we'd love to have you check us out and see how we can help you. Okay. Anything else you want to tell me? Or did you want to sing another note? Um, <laughs> I might sing. Let me think of something. Um, no, but I did want to give a little throw, a shout out to um, Mr. Heathcock, Heathcock and Mr. VZ because I am a product of the music system in Conroe ISD. I grew up in the band in middle school. I was in choir and music changes people's lives. And it is so important to give back to these, um, these institutions, especially at this young age. It, I, I am a professional opera singer. Yes. So it clearly has impacted my career choice. Um, but so many of the lessons that I learned in choir in band in music school, shaped the person who I was today. Discipline. Yeah. Respect, oh, of course. All of that. So go out there, go to concerts, go to live concerts, support your local bands and music systems because you will change. Even if it's one child's life, you will, it's worth it. So. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, music just makes you happy. It right? does. Yeah. When there's, uh, you know, this is the, what I like to say. When you have no more words to describe something, you have to sing about it. It has to, you have to bust out in a song. Right. I mean, so. aren't you always kind of thinking of a tune in your head when I, when I run? I, sometimes I just think. I mean, I don't wear anything because I just don't. Right. <laughs> but, but you know, you're thinking mm -hmm. and thinking of songs. I mean, right. songs are part of our music is a part of our everyday life. It's huge. Yes. It's a part of our culture. It's huge. Okay, so they can go to Madeira Estates, mymadeiraestates.com, or Madeira Estates on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And this is Erin Ramirez, opera singer. Give me a little tune to end us up. Uh, okay. Um, Im wunderschönen Monat Mai, als alle Knospen sprangen, da ist in meinem Herzen 
die Liebe aufgegangen. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much My for pleasure. coming on the show today. And we will be right back with our next guest, Bo Sullivan from True South Promotions. I'm Margie Taylor, Conroe Culture News. We are looking for sponsors. Do you want to partner with Conroe Culture? Contact us on IRLoneStar.com slash Conroe Culture for current rates and statistics of our listenership. Our talk shows and music shows are looking for sponsors. Want to expand your brand awareness? Reach the hyper-local audience in Montgomery County? Lone Star Community Radio sponsorships accomplish this. Want to see our stats and rates? Check out IRLoneStar.com slash sponsor for more information. Or call in and leave us a message at 936-647-3776. I'm Margie Taylor, your host for Conroe Culture News. Today on this Eclipse Monday, La Lunes. <laughs> it is, right? La Lunes. All yes, right. yes. So my next guest and final guest here today on the show is Bo Sullivan of True South Promotions. How are you doing today, Miss Margie? I am doing great. How Thanks. about you? I'm doing wonderful. I'm, I'm doing a lot better now that I'm on your show. I've been oh, looking forward to this great. all morning long. Have you? Yes, all weekend long. <laughs> Well, that's great. So tell me about what you do. Well, you know, it, it is uh, definitely a coat of many colors. But um, uh, True South Promotions was, was birthed a couple of years ago. Um, let's just say out of desperation a little bit. <laughs> I, uh, I left the oil and gas field and, um, in 2014 when, you know, when everything kind of dried up there. And, you know, it was just there was a, I had a lot of connections and I, and I felt like I could transform you know my connections and parlay that into a career and so uh, my wife and i went home we talked about it we prayed about it and uh, true south promotions was was born shortly after and then uh, not long after we created the company uh, we saw a uh, a need for for local events uh, large large-scale events and festivals and corporate events private events and uh, of course right after that was uh, nonprofit work which just pulled at my heart big time mm -hmm. uh, I have a big, um, um, big spot in my heart for our veterans, uh, and, and active duty servicemen and women's, but both, both, uh, any, any military period, um, uh, I believe needs to get the, the recognition they, they do. Absolutely. Deserve. Now you're involved with, uh, green zone housing too. Are you not? Yes, ma'am. Green okay. zone housing. I, I, I'm still on the board of directors for green zone housing as their media relations director. And, um, I'm also, uh, uh, affiliated strongly and hopefully, 2018 comes around, I might, I might uh, be on the board of directors for Boots for Troops. So Boots for Troops takes care of our active duty and deployed servicemen and women, uh, just constantly giving them support everywhere from uh, boot camp up until uh, they're ready to transition back to civilian life. And that's where Green Zone hmm. Housing picks them up. And we pick them up whenever they come out of their uh, active duty service, service time as they're transitioning into their civilian life. And we try to provide them with all the support, counseling, uh, mediation, and, and of course, you know, uh, ultimately those that, uh, that, uh, qualify for our housing program, uh, we, we try to put them in, in, um, uh, in deficiency homes that, uh, we, we also put in a community called the green zone housing community. And so these guys, we really found out that, that veterans really listen to other veterans. Sure. And so having these guys there around each other, support each other is just, uh, been the, been the cry. And so we've been trying to answer that cry and, and Mark Cook, the founder of green zone housing is just one of the most amazing uh, philanthropists I know. He's an incredible friend, partner, colleague, mentor of mine, and uh, I'm really blessed to be working with him. And Jimmy Rogers, CEO of Boots for Troops, is the same way. He's a he's a, he's a service uh, member for the Navy and a veteran now. Now that he's out, and uh, he just does so much for our active duty troops. So how how do the uh, um... How did they find out about you and about these services? You know what? Good question. Uh, I'm, I owe uh, I owe a debt of gratitude to my friend Clayton Talley, who owns the UPS store up in uh, up in Willis and also in uh, Walker County, and uh, trying to get him on board for the uh, Conroe Chamber of Commerce because he's looking down here to open up another store. I'm like, well, you need to be a part of the best chamber of commerce. That's commerce right. And that right. And then that's uh, right. So of course we have Rodney Anderson who just slipped in the door. Holy He's smokes. the membership director of the Conroe Lake Conroe Chamber of Commerce. That is so. my new partner in crime, actually. Oh my! I had no idea. Uh, of course, I 
saw someone walk in. I didn't even see it was Rodney. Uh, I absolutely love this man. You He's talking a good about? Guy. Oh man, you talking about do a lot for the community? Yes. Uh, and 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 also wear a hat, many many hats. I guess you'd say uh, that's Rodney Anderson. Rodney is uh, incredible. I was glad to uh, whenever I joined the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, Rodney was there, open, well, welcomed me with open arms, and uh, not only that, welcomed me with a few pr- jobs and projects that now he and oh, I good. get to partner right. on. Right, and so tell me about some of those projects. I know you have one coming up soon. Uh, this is really cool. Um, this is called Festius Patrius, and it is uh, in honor of our uh, Hispanic heritage and her- heritage culture uh, for, for all of our Hispanic Latino uh, community members. Uh, it takes place, well, Festius Patrius, historically takes place on September 16th, whenever Mexico got its independence from Spain. And there's seven other Central American and South American countries that also got their independence from Spain, but that was on September 15th. So they all come together and they celebrate on September 16th. Well, this year there's a, there's a big boxing match. So we didn't want to throw, throw a festival or an event on the night of a big, big uh, Latin boxing match. So (laughs) we, we moved it to Sunday, September 17th right out here at the Montgomery County Fairgrounds in the Lone Star Pavilion, right next to the uh, the big arena out there, where Rodney has done a great job getting that secured as our new home. We've In the past, it's the 28th annual event. So the ladies at the uh, Alliance of New Americans, Miss Marlene Tejada and Miss Marisa, who, uh, who is the leader for the Greater Latino Chamber, uh, Conroe Chamber of Commerce, um, those two ladies have been doing it for 27 years. This year, they got Rodney on board and partnered up with the Conroe Lake Conroe Chamber of Commerce and uh, we don't do anything small, so we decided to no, ramp it up. No, you don't do no. anything small. No, the chamber, the chamber is is incapable of doing things on a small scale. So um, we, uh, Rodney did a great job finding our new home out at the Montgomery County Care, mm-hmm. Montgomery County Fairgrounds. Excuse me. And so uh, Festius Patrius, twenty eighth annual, twenty seventeen is going to be bigger, uh, better, and better than ever, grander than ever. I should say they did a great job getting talent. The talent they've got out of Mexico. They have two bands out of Mexico, uh, incredible bands, like, you know, not, not, not just some small bands. I mean, and so, uh, and then one of the bands out of Honduras, Wow. I would butcher their names. I, now I, I have okay, their names. Okay. I know their names. <laughs> I don't want to butcher well, how their names. Can somebody They're... find out about the festival? Well, that's a good point. We have Ronnie and I have <laughs> made sure we've been going around putting posters and flyers around all over town. But if you just go into Google and look up Festius Patrius, Montgomery County, 2017 it should link, link land you on our ticketing website um as well as um we have four places five places in town right ronnie that are, that are selling tickets chocolate passion uh la palma uh fiesta and, and, a, and a couple other ones so uh, is the chamber selling tickets does rodney have tickets we do not have tickets what well is, darn we need, it all yeah we need to get some <laughs> tickets out, i think now, do you have this on your website as well? I do. I do have it on True my... TrueSouthPromotions.com. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. True, T-R-U. No E. Correct. Just yeah. wanted to point that out. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for that. I just thought I would save some people some time, you know, drop and get, get rid of that E. <laughs> That's right. No. <laughs> save them the time. Save them it's the time. It's still a long title. Such True a long South title. Pro- yeah, it's True South Promotions. We, I think we were trying to shorten it. Uh, I talked to our, our uh, web analyst the other day and get it short of True South Promo. But uh, yeah, absolutely. I don't know why. I, I own another company. I wrote a patent for it called Glow Rails uh, with my partner Brian Hickman, and it's Glow Rails without a W, G L O Rails. And I have another company as well, another product company. And so it's something weird about taking off a letter or something. I don't know. But that's that's kind of how True South. So would my name be M A R G I and yeah. forget the E? Hey, well, it's it sounds Margie? the same, right? Margie. I, we, I can, know. we can still go with that. Okay. I okay. guarantee you. There's... I'll be Margie. No e. there's no e no e oh my gosh imagine how much how about how just marge m-a-r-g <laughs> I that's love what it. my siblings call me just marge. really yeah <laughs> that's sweet that's cool so, so so you have this coming up anything else on uh, out in the horizon a- absolutely i'm glad you uh you brought that up uh we've got let's see september of course conroe catfish festival um and in true south uh proud to, to do some work with conroe catfish festival i was an mc and host uh, last year on all three stages at one time or another uh, announcing. So you're working with the Friends of Conroe? Yes, ma'am. I'm a, I'm a lifetime lifetime member for the Friends of Conroe, lifetime okay. member for Montgomery County Fair Association. Um, I was newly inducted into the uh, Conroe Noon Lions Club, which is the second largest Lions Club it in the is. United States It is. I used America. to be a member there. That is, <laughs> I, that's, just, that's something to be said there. I mean, go Montgomery County, go Conroe. 
and we got the second largest Lions Club in the nation and top ten in the world. So and a growing radio station. Let me just I, throw that dude, in. Dude, Lone Star <laughs> Community Radio. Let me tell you about these guys. They are incredible. Margie, you do a great job here with the Conroe culture, and, and I'm really glad, excited to be on. All right, but yeah, so um, like I said, just and then, of course, Chamber of Commerce. I got, I got welcomed on here. So uh, September will hold that. It'll hold uh, Zeke Fest. Uh, I do some work with the Sam Houston Race Park. We just had our, our festival, my, my flagship festival, with my business partners, Beyond the Pines, there two weeks ago. Uh, it was wonderful. We were the week after the Cody Johnson show, which I'm, I'm also glad to work with Cody Johnson on a lot of things. Talking about a local hometown hero. Uh, Cody Johnson and, and Montgomery County boy and just absolutely mm-hmm. laying golden eggs right now. I mean, he is just, he is on fire. Maybe he needs to come on the show too. Oh, my goodness. Dude, if we get him, I, let's try to get Cody Johnson. Okay. Let me, let me call him. Um, yeah, I'll call right. Howie right now. Okay. He, okay. Um, man, I, I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Next, n- next possible George Strait right there. He is incredible. I mean, absolutely. Um, his uh, tickets will be available soon, and I believe he's going to sell out the radio, the rodeo this year. He's the first person in rodeo history to ever um, have come in to fill in and sell more tickets than the original. Than the original that, one? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Very That's crazy. crazy. Old, Domin- Old Dominion's great, too, but they had a death in the family, and they had 3,000 people say, hey, we want a refund, which the rodeo will honor, and uh, they had 8,000 people buy new tickets, so an increase of 5,000. I sit on, uh, I'm an entertainment director for the... Connor Woodlands Willis Metro Go Texan Committee as well. So we get to do a lot of work with Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Well, maybe you can MC the parade that comes straight down Main Street here. Did you know that? that the Metro Go Texan? Yes. Uh, that is yes, one that's of the, in February. That is one of the funnest events. I, I got to l- last year I was out there directing traffic. Uh, I mean mm-hmm. that was that was where you, it's you a have, fun event. It, you know, we're the uh we're the only um surrounding community besides Houston that's allowed to do a parade. The Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo will only allow two parades. Really? And that is the Houston Parade and the Conroe Parade. They will not allow any, you know, Pearland, Pasadena, well, Katy. There you go. That's because yeah. Conroe rocks. At Conroe rocks. Conroe we're like, rocks. And we, they say we do it so well. <laughs> and so that's the reason why we get, like, uh, community organizers and, and all kind of groups from, like, Katy and, and, and South, uh, you know, what am I thinking, uh, Clear Lake, Brinswood, and all that stuff. That's why all of those guys come up here for our for our. Uh, parade. We because want them to come up here. They don't have a parade. So well, they come up here go. and jump in on our parade. We're welcome with open arms. That's right. We have a Christmas parade too in December. And hopefully a Festius Patrius parade next year. We well, wanna, that would be awesome. Yeah. We want to How about a Cinco de Mayo parade? A Cinco de Mayo parade. Let's just start having parades. And that's over. right before the music festival. Okay. So we have to wrap it up here. So Wonderful. sorry, Bo, no, no, but no, we can all. do this again. We can talk look, again in September. I look forward True to it. TrueSouthPromotions.com would be your gateway on Facebook or the website Absolutely. to get information about your festivals. And next Monday, August 28th, we will hear from Kristen Bay for 284th District Court. She's awesome. Great woman. She is awesome. I am Margie Taylor, Conroe Culture News, your host, Lone Star Community Radio. Until next time, stay safe. Have a good one. Thanks for checking out this podcast of Lone Star Community Radio, Montgomery County's community radio station. If you enjoyed this recording, make sure to check out our past shows online at IRLoneStar.com or their respective video or podcast formats on YouTube, Google Play, or iTunes. If you have any questions regarding the show, either it being about sponsorships or questions for the host, contact the station manager at D-I-C-K at IRLoneStar.com or call the station at 936-647-3776. This show was recorded in downtown Conroe, Texas at the Lone Star Community Radio Studio. And Lone Star Community Radio reserves all rights to this recording and images.